In today's episode, we're going to get the group stage kicked off in the Champions League. But first, gotta have a draw. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. All right, my dudes, it's time for the group stage draw. I'm... Hopefully we get a good one because uh, we have won our last two, but it's it's been not very good either. So hopefully it's not a terrible group draw that we're in. Uh, we are fourth seed, so it's it's not going to be easy. It's definitely not going to be easy. Hopefully we get out of it though this year. Haven't done it yet. I don't think it's going to be this year either, but we certainly can hope. I mean, perfect case scenario. We draw Wolves as the number one seed, right? That's that's what I'm thinking out of all those guys. The two seed. Two seed looks like a really tough one, doesn't it? Oh, God. Who do we want out of those two seeds? Nobody. Just don't draw a two seed for us. Third seeds. Copenhagen. I would love that. Feyenoord, I think that would be a good one as well. Uh, this isn't going to be easy, is it? I don't feel com I don't feel confident in the team. So Group A so far, that's the one I want. Definitely the one I want. I mean, you can make an argument for Group D as well, but uh, definitely don't want B, C, E, or G or H. Okay, Group A got a little bit more interesting with Porto getting drawn. Group B looks extremely difficult now. Group C looks extremely difficult now. Group D still interesting. Group E, no thank you. Group F. My mm. dudes, this is going to be tough. All right, so we got the third seed coming out of hat now. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. If if we can kind of dominate the thir third seeds and um, win both of the matches against the third seeds and do somewhat decent against the top two, we might have an opportunity. I'm going ahead and telling you, I don't want Group B, Liverpool, Juventus, and Ajax all in the same group. That's a tough one. Group C, still not exactly easy, is it? Barcelona, Chelsea, and, and Red Bull, Salzburg. I mean, we could take that one. I think we have an opportunity against Red Bull, but it would still be tough. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> These are some tough groups, my dudes. Uh, I don't like this at all. Okay, here we go. I've got a feeling. We're going to be in Group B. Okay, my feeling was wrong. I'm not disappointed in that. Okay, I mean, Group D seems somewhat interesting. I think I think it's a very well-rounded group, but I do see some victories there. Not there. Don't want Group B either. I got a feeling Group B is going to be. Okay, it's not Group B. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. I mean, I, I really, at this point, I don't really know which group I would prefer. Uh, I feel like H, we would have the best chance of beating Feyenoord, but I don't see us beating Inter or PSG any. I don't see us getting any draws against them. Uh, group G, Leverkusen would be tougher than Feyenoord, but I could see us getting a result over Lazio. And uh, Group F looks like a no. Okay, it's, it's, it's come down to this. We're Group G or Group H. I really don't care. Like, it just seems like it's going to be shitty either way, doesn't it? Hey, we're going to Group H. We get PSG, Inter, and Feyenoord. We've got to beat Feyenoord both times if we want to cons even make it to the next round, which uh, at this point, I don't know if it's going to happen. We're going to simulate one more day to see when it actually comes available because I want to see wh where we're coming back. I think we're going to play – I think we're going to play in this uh, – in this episode, we're going to be playing one of, one of the matches in the group stage. It looks like we're going to be coming back with Inter for our first match in the Champions League. Not going to be too easy. Not going to be an easy one. We're going to focus on the Champions League this year as well, like we did the Europa League in the last one. So should be tough. Uh, we are going to skip some matches. Like we'll play Inter, probably skip Feyenoord, come back with PSG, skip the next match of PSG, come back with Inter, and then Feyenoord. Something like that. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but I do expect us to – the focus on the Champions League until we get knocked out, and then we'll focus on the league, I guess. Before we get into the first match against Upen, we've got to go over some results. We've looked a lot better since the first episode, so 
Not as worried now. We've won actually four straight. We beat Circle Bruges 2-1. Anderson and Hedden gets a goal. Hedden's really establishing himself on that right wing as well. Uh, Searing United, we won that 4-2. Anderson allowed an own goal. Hey, good job, bud. Uh, Rob Hart, Richter, Fabi, and Bellotti all getting in there as well. 2-0 against Antwerp, Molina, and Fabi getting goals. And we had a friendly that we... Also won 3 0. Lukaku gets a brace and head and gets a goal. I've actually played Lukaku a little bit and I've actually been impressed with him. In this match, he put out a 7.1. Uh, the friendly put out an 8.9. How you doing? How you doing, Lukaku? We may have to end up playing him a little bit more uh, than what we have. And uh, yeah, I mean, he, him and Daisy are really close. Both of them are three star. Both of them are three star potentials. There were some offers come in for Daisy and looking back, I really do wish that I would have. Uh, I did not know that. That's the only reason why I came here. They're brothers. Did I didn't know that? Go me, right? But uh, I'm just looking at the player now at this point. Yeah, looking back at it, I wish I would have took it. I think I found a player that was better than him. He's a three and a half star player that looked really good. Uh, just. I didn't think about it. I was like, man, daisy has been here forever. Let's keep him. Speaking of Daisy, though. Speaking of Daisy, oh, he's now wanted. Nice. Got his first cap. Had 22 under 21 caps. Gets his first cap with Belgium. Good stuff for him. And then another player that just got capped as well, Molina. One cap. One goal. Way to make a debut right there on the international level, isn't it? We're going up against Open first. We're going after Inter after that. Got an email saying that we're uh, projected to have like the lowest odds of winning this. So anything, we should be happy with just not embarrassing ourselves pretty much. So good stuff. We're giving uh, Norman Williamson a break in this match. He's played every game this season so far. So uh, Van Erden's coming in there. Gaston's killing it once again this year it's crazy with him he's putting out an average rating of a 7.5 he's only played in two matches but uh it's hard to justify not playing him when he's playing that good we got cooking goal a back four of fontaine van erden anderson and Daisy midfield of heart and gasson right hand side heading in the middle molina left hand side richter up top babby see what we can do i mean we didn't look good in our last episode that is for certain maybe today maybe today we look a little bit better Pump the fist. Go out there. The media's talking about you. Everybody's talking about you. Prove them right, damn it. Here we go. We've won three of our last five. Uh, we've only lost one of our last five, so we're coming in in pretty good form. Open, on the other hand, not that good. Losing three out of their last five. Let's go ahead and get this match underway, though. I plan ahead. Don't worry. I plan ahead. Anderson, he gets us to Van Herden. Do we get an early start here against Open? Maybe so. Maybe not. I mean, the last match, the last episode, not the last match. The last episode was poor, wasn't it? We got to get going again. And it looks like we're, we're starting to do that. I think we picked out one of the toughest draws that we could have possibly had, though. Now looking back at it, I mean, I don't think we're ready yet. I think we're still a couple seasons away from getting past the group stage, but it's important to set a goal for our last season. And well, that that's our goal. It's just, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to be bottom of that group. This newly built side does not really like you guys. First 20 are down. Nothing. The last highlight was the last highlight. There wasn't any that I cut out that was just, that was extremely boring. That's not good. Fontaine clears that out for us. Got to throw in Fontana to take it. He throws it into Gasson. Hart now under possession. Plays it over to Dacey. Richter on a run. Richter on a finish. Second of the season for him. Dacey is on the assist. Another reason why I didn't want to get rid of Dacey in the middle of the season was because he's been here a long time. He's got a partnership with Richter. You know, if we bring somebody else in, well, we've got to we've got to work on it again. But um, yeah. I kind of wish I would have done it. I'm not, I am not. didn't want to bring in somebody else over top of him. Like the guy that I found I know is better than Dacey, but I really didn't want to bring anybody over top of him. So we, we didn't make any moves on the transfer deadline. And I and it's we, – we promised him that if they would come in, somebody would come in with like a $26.5 million offer, we would sell him. But nobody came in with that. 
It came in like 23.5 and I, and I declined it. <laughs> Looking back at it, I, I mean, I, I probably should have like even, I, I didn't even try bargaining with them. I was just like, nope, Daisy's here. I'm telling I'm telling y'all guys, this, this Hedden kid, he, he would have been good. He would have been really good. 2-0 now. Good stuff. From the home side. I mean, I really like that Jordan Hedden kid. He looks good. I, I really questioned myself when we sold Valentina. I'm glad we did now, though, really. Molina, he gets us to Hedden. I, I really just paused there for a moment. I, I don't know what happened. I, I guess I was expecting... I wasn't expecting a highlight. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure what happened, okay? I apologize, though. A little bit of dead air right then. Okay, I mean, it looks like flag's up. The flag is up. There we go. I, I was about to say, raise that flag, man. Got to throw in for our side. Daisy, he gets this up to Richter. Molina, the heart. We got heading now. Uh-huh. Richter, is he going to put the razzle-dazzle on it? He tried to, but he was offsides. Hedden hits that into the box. Babby looking better of late. Gets his head on that. Doesn't finish, though. We've got two minutes of added time, and it's, it's halftime. I'm a lot happier with this result than the last one. We're still not creating a ton on XG, are we? we got 11 shots, 4 on target, and XG of 0.9. 2 nil though. Looking good. I'm happy with the side so far. We're going to pump the fist. Hey, media's been talking about you. You know, we're going to talk about the media then. Okay, Hedden. Kicking this into the box from a free kick. He's trying to get to Molina. Molina is pushed. And we're going to get that pin. Are we going to win this match 3-0? Hopefully not. Hopefully we win it more than 3-0. What's, what's the decision? First of all, we got to make a decision ourselves in penalty takers. Gasson. Gasson is literally the past two seasons have played the best he has played since joining KV Mecklen. And uh, we're going to put the ball at his feet, see if he can finish here. Hit him with the razzle-dazzle. Hit him with the mustard. Put some mustard on the shot, Gasson. 3-0. Gasson's first goal of the season for him. Good stuff. It, it's funny, like, with this team, we could still sell another midfield player and, and be fine in the league. Now, in the, champion, now in the Champions League, we would, we would struggle a little bit more. But in our league, I think we could sell one more player and we would still be perfectly fine. Well, I don't have a habit. I hit encourage and I pissed everybody on the team off. Just clicked it to do something, really. We're back with an open highlight. Do we keep the clean sheet? Cook has done a pretty good job, even though it's only... Got, I mean, he hasn't been challenged. <laughs> Let's be real. He hasn't done anything out there today. He's forced to stop here. Ball would have went out for, okay, I guess, okay. I, I thought it would have went out for a corner. Dropped a little bit of praise on him that time, and it helped out a little bit. Unfortunately, Upen trying to get something right here. That was kind of an odd one. The attacker slammed on the brakes, trying to get Dacey out of position. Cook forced another stop here. It's kept alive, and it goes out for a corner, which I think would have been the result if the dude wouldn't have went out for it to begin with. Good job, Hart. Good job. We're about to make some changes. I want to get uh, Mr. Anderson off. I would like to get probably Big Rick off as well. Taking out some of these guys that we need for the next match. It's, that's been playing a lot. Rod, ooh, we can do that instead. I like that better. Rodriguez picked up a little bit of an injury, so it's going to be good to get him back in the side. Who else did I say? I said Mr. Anderson, didn't I? Norman Williamson can come on. And the final change we made was Luvunga coming on for Rob Hart as well. Hedden goes down. We get another pin here? So, we've still got Gasson, so he can still take it. Oh, I don't miss this. FM22, I'm so glad that you got rid of that. I've only seen it once. So like the, the occurrence of it happening is like super low. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy that's not happening near as much on there because I hate that long walk. We get a pin here. Gasson's going to take it. He's got one goal to his name today. Is he going to get on a brace here and put us up 4 nil? As I mentioned, he's playing lights out. He's played lights out since the end of last season. I'm, I'm really ecstatic about him. I mean, he's, he's really challenging recall day, isn't he? We got one here. Let's see what he does. Hit him with the razzle-dazzle, baby. 
There we go. Now, maybe that's the last highlight of the match. Not going to be. We'll have another one. I'm sure of it. Good stuff by the squad today. This is this is the performance I wanted to see after last episode where we looked really poor in those two matches. Good stuff by Gasson. Well, I keep having to praise the side because, well, they're getting a little bit complacent out there and uh, the morale is dropping. Hopefully we don't give up a cold late. I want to keep the clean sheet. Van Herden comes under this. He plays it up to Gasson now. I mean, do we make it 5-0? Maybe. He's got Fontana out there. Does he do something with it? Tries crossing it in. It's cleared out. Luvunga's going to chase it up. Rounds it over to Fontana. Back to Molina, who was a little bit ambitious, but it was a pretty good shot. Corner kick up coming for Upin. Are we in the closing highlight? I mean, it would be nice to get out of here. As I mentioned, we want to keep the clean sheet. Van Herden does a good job to push that out. And we keep the clean sheet. Four, Neil. Good victory from our side today. 19 shots. 10 on target. An XG of 2.72 compared to their four shots, four on target. XG of 0.5. Cook, Cook didn't have a lot to do today. He done good, though, on the shots that was created to it or sent, sent in the box to him. And uh, Gasson, once again, looking really good. Dacey looked good in this match as well, 8.5. We talked about selling him, and he comes out and does that kind of performance. Good stuff. I'm happy with the way we played today. And now, now, my dudes, we're on to enter. Well, say a prayer for our side today. We're going to need it. Pray to them, FM gods. Try to send out a prayer. Say, hey, FM gods, give this KV Mecklen team some, I don't know, Give them an edge today. I don't think we're going to pull it off, my dudes. I am. I'm nervous. Top it all off. We're without our guy. Babby's out. I mean, I say our guy. He hasn't done much since joining the club. Let's be real. And I won't head in, in the match as well. And, and you can see I've made a change also. Lukaku's coming in on the left-hand side for Dacey. And the reason for that is, I mean, he's more of a veteran player. I want to see what he can do in this kind of environment. This is the kind of stuff we brought him in for. And the, the change up top, we put Molina there, and uh, Essa Hall drops back into his number 10 role. I don't know, my dudes. I really don't. We're about to find out how tough this uh, Champions League is going to be for us this year. We got Cook and Goal back for Fontana, Norman Williamson, Anderson, and Lukaku. In the middle, we got Hart and Gasson. Right hand side heading in the middle, Essa Hall. Left hand side, Richter up top. Yeah, boy, Molina. I like that. It's all green. It's all green, baby. That's what we want to see. Outstretched arm. Nope, don't do that. We won't pump the fist. We like fist pumpage in the first. We've won our last four. We're looking good. I think I think this is the best. I mean, obviously it's the best we won this season. It's been a short season, you big dumb dumb. Hey, brother versus brother. I mean, we all know who has the better one. Not 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 us. Not us. <laughs> we get an opening highlight here. I mean, I'm not expecting much out of this opening highlight. I'm just expecting it to kind of end pretty soon. That is a pretty cool thing. I didn't even really think about playing Enter and it being a brother versus brother. So it's pretty cool. We did start our version of Lukaku there. Gasan hits it into the box. It's pushed out for the end of the highlight. Well, we mentioned it earlier. It's important that we get a result out of one of these matchups against Inter or PSG. Whether we get a couple of draws between the two of them and, and, and then beating Feyenoord both times, it's, it's going to be huge. So we need to do good. We're doing pretty good right now. We're about to approach the 30-minute mark. And, and honestly, our defense has held up pretty well. We're not creating anything, but I, I'm, I'm impressed with the defense so far. There's not been anything that's happened. we got to throw in. There's been three highlights. Opening highlight, one for Inter, and hopefully one here for us. Essahal, the Hedden. Hey, hey, I will take it all day long. What? You shut up. You you shut your mouth right now, game. I just seen the foot go out. I didn't even pay attention to it being offsides. We go into halftime. It's nil-nil. And, and honestly, guys, it, it's two shots and two shots. I think this has been wonderful. This is great. We're going uh, to hype ourselves up a little bit. Get head and motivated as well. Norman Williamson is on a card. I noticed that uh, Hedden putting out the 6.5. Richter with the 6.4. I know our attack's not going to really do much against the side this good. We've just got to hope for a random set piece that we get something in 
or an own goal like we almost had, just a little bit of a fluke to get a goal, and we need to hold up defensively. And so far, fingers crossed with this highlight, we have been pretty we've been pretty good in, in, on the defensive side today. Goes out for a corner. Do we push it out? We need to know. We, hey, no, no shutting off, my dudes. There we go. That's good stuff. Goes out for the goal kick. Dropping some encouragement on the side. They're looking good out there today. I'm, I'm really happy with this side today. It's all fighting. Got that courage. Some of you guys must have prayed for us today for, to the FM gods. Appreciate it. Much needed. Richter is going to chase this down. Plays it over to Lukaku. Gasson now in possession. Back to Richter. Lukaku again. Maybe. Maybe we get something. Maybe. He's offsides, isn't he? Two goals that we've had that's been offsides. It's tough. It is tough. I mean, like we've had we've had some opportunities. We have. We've we've held our own against them today, I feel like. And that's that's a positive note. How bad off was it? I mean, it was close, wasn't it? Enter with a free kick. Cook just supermans out there and grabs that ball. What do we do with this now? How does this highlight end for us? It, it, it's a, a hoof ball. Don't agree with that. I'm pretty sure I don't have hoof balls turned on. I think that was just really poor play by Cook. I didn't have it set for uh, long kicks. I had short kicks turned on. We've since changed that to uh, rolling it out. Because obviously, I mean, they're not, they're not really pressing us. There's no need to, to do that kind of stuff. Essa Hall gets us to head to Molina. We may make some more tactical changes pretty soon because, like I said, they're just they're not pressing us at all. We're playing a little bit. I think we're playing more direct. We may be playing shorter passes. I honestly can't remember. I changed that up so much, and I didn't really take a look at it before. This is dangerous, though. This is not what I wanted to see. Hey, talk about lucky. We've made changes to our side in the attack in terms of uh, Rodriguez has came in from Molina. As I mentioned, he's been banged up. And uh, Bilotti's came in on the right-hand side for uh, Hedden. We've also went to shorter pass, and we was on standard. I just I just knocked it down just a little bit just to see if we can create something out of it because, like I said, they're not pressuring us at all. We're, we're The only way we're turning the ball over is, is just us doing stupid passes that are long. Dropping some encouragement on the guys. We've looked good in this match. Since changing it up a little bit, we've already had two highlights, which is, well, I thought it was going to be one of our highlights. Not. Not one of our highlights. And, and Max Norman Williamson just gets absolutely beat right there. Lucky again. It should be 2-0 now. Corner kick upcoming. Got to defend. We've shut off here momentarily for the past couple highlights. We... I mean, he had a free chance, really. I don't like this now. It's all inter. It's been all inter for the last like ten minutes, hadn't it? Create. We're just letting them have opportunities. We're about to have to make some changes in the midfield. They're getting tired as well. Good job. I'm not sure who got in the way of that. It says Anderson did. So good job by Anderson getting in the way of that that attack. We had uh, one change to make. We've brought Ricalde in for Gasson. Hart's moved over to be a roaming roaming playmaker and. Uh, Recall is our box to box. I had to think what it was called there for a moment. And I'm honestly going to change that, I think. I think I'm going to change him to a ball winning midfield. I think I'll take the result at this moment. Really, I, that's why we're, we're going ahead and making that change for him to be a ball winning midfield. We got two minutes of added time. Is this a, is this a KV Mecklen highlight? Is it a K? It seems like they're starting to pressure us now that we're playing a little bit shorter passing, doesn't it? It's not enough to really change it again, but they are. When it's in our half, they are starting to pressure us a little bit. Lukaku on the ball. Hart now. Oh, man. I thought it would be funny like if Lukaku scored right then to put us up because it, it would be the, the other Lukaku brother, the one that you didn't expect to score. That would have that would have been pretty funny. It would have been pretty good. Norman Williamson did a good job just to stop that. Hey, good job, my dude. It's been a tough go today, guys. Bilotti's a little bit, I guess, aggressive out there. I'm not 100% sure what his deal is mentality-wise. I've encouraged the side a little bit, and everybody's pretty happy except for him. We've got a closing highlight is what I'm guessing here. That was a good one. That, that might have been the best closing highlight I've seen. Just throws the ball in. Nobody touches it in the highlight. Guys, I'm thrilled with this result. I really am.
No nil against Inter. Right. We're going to have to get some of these results against the the two the the one seed and the two seed to get past the uh, the group the, the the group stage, and we're going to have to beat Feyenoord twice. It's going to be tough. It really is. Cook was our best performer. Other players that looked really good in this match was Fontana and Anderson. I mean, Norman Williamson looked good too. Lukaku. I mean, the side looked good. We had opportunities. I mean, our, our XG was low, but then again, our XG is typically pretty – it's not it's not super high usually. We, we play a really slow-paced offense. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was happy with it. We had three good opportunities. The own goal, uh, there was one more. I can't remember who missed it. It was another offsides by Molina. And then that last shot by Hart was a pretty good one, actually. I'm happy with what I saw out there, dudes. I really am. That's good stuff. We're going to come back with another uh, matchup in the Champions League. Do we play Feyenoord again? I think what we do, I think it would be good to show the two Feyenoord matches since I think both of those, we need to win both of them. Uh, I probably thought something different earlier today when I first recorded it. So we'll probably come back with Feyenoord and uh, Lomel. I'm guessing that I think I would like that matchup a little bit because Lone has always been a tough competition for us, even though they're not near as good as us. So that'll be the next episode. We'll skip the first PSG match, come back with the second one, skip the next enter, and then come back with the, the Fed Nord match after that. Just to kind of exp expedite the season a little bit. And I do think, the, I think the Fed Nord matches are going to be huge. We've got to get two wins from those. So we got to get six points. It is a must. What my dudes to get that result against enter. That is huge. And Hey, we look pretty good in the league, if I must say so myself. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.